The moment that you don't care anymore. The moment where you just sit there and think and say to yourself, I had enough. We some southern boys with the prime of strength. Ain't nobody man enough to feel the pain. I had enough. I had enough. I might as well just stick to watching SmackDown, NXT, Lucha Underground. I might as well. I might as well get back into TNA again. Because I've lost some interest. You know, I lost some interest for a while. Um, I'm still, in, I'm still like, talking about it at times, you know. I did love when Matt Hardy was, when he, when he lost his memory. And then he's back to himself now. He's back to his broken brilliance, right? Um, I'm still there. I'm not really paying attention to anything else. I still like Eli Drake, EC3, you know, all these guys, you know, I just found out that Mandrews turned heel and shit. I gotta, I gotta catch up on my TNA. But anyways, Monday Night Raw, man, December 5th, 2016. Guess what time I'm recording this one? 1045. I'm recording this before the last segment of the show. And guess what? It's on commercial right now. It's about to go on to where Cesaro and Sheamus are fighting, uh, uh, I believe, Carl Anderson and Gallows for the number one contendership at Roblox for the tag team titles. I feel like the New Day or something screwy is going to happen to where, like I said, it's going to be a triple threat tag team match at Roblox for the WWE Raw tag team titles. So besides that... The only positive thing, see, I came in here open-minded, and I and I realized there is some positives, but a whole lot of I don't give a fuck. Not really. I don't. I, I guess the negatives. I don't know. I just don't care. So, and here's the thing, and this is sad. I am looking forward to Ellsworth fighting AJ Styles with this ripped pants and his butt cheek. Is showed to the world for the WWE World Title tomorrow night on SmackDown more than anything on Monday Night Raw. Let me get the cat out of the bag right now. Biggest, the the the, the, the for one out of two. All right, the first out of the two biggest piss off moments on Raw tonight. Number one. Sasha Banks and her loud mouth had to challenge Charlotte to an Iron Woman match for the women's title at Roblox. Now, what did I say last week? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're going to fight again at Roblox for the women's title. I knew exactly that was that was gonna happen. Did I know about the stipulation? No, I did not. Of course not. But I could have cared less because I thought maybe someone else would get a shot. No, 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 no. It had to be Bay. Uh, sorry, Sasha and Charlotte once again. This is a women's revolution. This is a women's division. This is a joke. All right, my empty cups I have in my room are more worth than this fucking feud right now. My dead PS4 is worth more than this feud right now. And now, I, I, I'm going to be honest. People, uh, Someone tried to tell me to lighten up. I had, I have lightened up. I have been showing some respect and, and, and giving them credit. That's all you're getting from me. Why should I have to sit here and be like, hey, they're fighting again. Yay. I love this. Yes. Sasha and Charlotte. I can watch them forever until I'm buried six feet fucking under. No. No, I can't take it anymore. And no, don't give me bullshit like, oh, 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 if you don't like, don't watch. No, don't give me that garbage, man. 
I love the WWE way too much to give it up now. I seriously do. It's the one thing. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. In reality, I'm wasting this the, the TV what I have now. The Roger, uh, I have a Rogers box here, right? I am wasting it. Do you know how I'm wasting it? I'm not using it more than anyone else should use it in their lives, okay? I use it only three times a week. If not, two times a week. Want to know how? Monday Night Raw and Tuesday Night SmackDown. And if, and if lucky, I'll watch a Talking Smack or maybe a, a 205 Live or an NXT. That's it. After that, nothing. And, and then the pay-per-view comes up. Then I watch it on TV so you guys can get reactions. Okay? If you have not seen my, my uh, TLC reactions, the link is in the description box below for all of them I've done. I've done like, I think I've done two or three. So, yeah. So, where, where am I getting at? I like I said I love this I love this company I love this product uh, too much oh 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 my god I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm recording this as I'm watching Raw the New Day are attacking Cesaro and Gallows and yeah we're gonna get that triple threat tag team match like I said we would I called it from the beginning and look at me now you see I think. I, 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 don't, I don't have to be a smart mark or anything. I think. I think logic. Okay. Cesaro and Sheamus got screwed one week. Gallows and Anderson got screwed the next. They're having a number one contenders match. And then New Day fucks it over. So now we're going to have that triple threat at Roadblock. Alright. I think. So now we have a reason... For the New Day to defend the tag titles against both teams. Because the New Day fucked them over by ending the match in DQ. Because the New Day attacked them. But besides that, like I said, I love this product way too much. I've been watching it for six to seven years. Alright? I can't go out one day thinking about WWE. I can't. When I watch YouTube videos, I'm watching different... Vi I watch reaction videos. I watch a lot of different things. And... And I have the WWE on my mind 24-7. It's like if someone you loved very much passed away. You have that on your mind every day. It's basically in, in that sense. The WWE, to me, has done something to where I uh, maybe it's because it's new every week even though they have done the same things every week but you know what I mean like it, it, it's it's like a new episode it's not like they take last week's episode and they show it again and again and again until the new episode come through you know you know what I mean so so me trying to stop watching WWE is asinine because why stop watching something that you always that you are emotionally invested in? Hmm. That's like telling a husband and wife the husband is upset at the wife because she does the same ridiculous things. You're gonna break. You're gonna freaking get a divorce over that. Over that something that you can fix, right? So that's what I'm trying to get at. I can't take this shit anymore. And I tweeted this. And I'm being dead serious. If Sasha loses. I mean. If she loses that Iron Woman match. I will never. From January 1st. 2017. To December 31st, 2017. That 365 days until it is up, or they have done something to make me to make me erase that. They have to do something 
for me to be to for me to be overly positive. And I don't think a Bailey win at WrestleMania will do it for me. It has to have a nice, awesome story that I can be interested in. Besides that, you're not going to hear one positive thing. I said this before. If Sasha won the title on Raw, which she did, I'm not going to say one positive thing. Now I'm up, now I'm up in the ante. If, if she loses, I am not saying a positive word about the women's division on Raw until the end of the year next year. Beginning January uh, 1st. Yeah. So what's the what's there to review tonight's show? What is there? Oh, Rollins comes out talking about Triple H. He wants to fight Triple H, and and I'm just sitting there thinking, oh, so now you want Triple H after two fucking months? You want Triple H now, Rollins? You're too damn late. It's too late now. Owens comes out. Talking all that good stuff, saying how him and Jericho are still friends, and then, well, Big Show comes out. Big Show fights Rollins, and Big Show looks good. 395 pounds, he slimmed down, he looks great, but I did not want him to see, I did not want him to wrestle uh, Rollins. Thankfully, the match was done within like 5-10 minutes, so, yeah. Big Show chokeslam Owens in the ring, and then Rollins pedigrees Owens for good measure. And then that's it. Owens had a match against Sami Zayn later on the night, which was a great match as always that they had. They always have, you know, Owens and and Zayn. I was in, I was interested in that match, and then I phased out. Then I got back into it. And yeah, that was that for that. Um, Jericho comes through. Owens tells Jericho he had presence. He had a match against Reigns versus uh, for the U.S. title, a match against Rollins at Roadblock, and Rollins versus the Big Show, which that failed. Jericho says, we're not good. Oh, my God. Guess what, guys? This is I'm recording this live. Next week, Gals and Anderson versus Cesaro and Sheamus versus The New Day for the WWE Raw Tag Team titles. Isn't that sweet? A match that should have been on a fucking pay-per-view is on Monday Night Raw. How ridiculous can you get WWE? Anyways, Jericho says they're not good. Jericho fights Reigns. I was pleading that Jericho would win the the uh, U.S. title, and guess what? No avail. Kevin Owens came in later on in the match, and he and he he super kicked Roman Reigns. Referee didn't see it. Jericho hit him with a code breaker. What happens? Jericho pins him. Jericho hits the go for the cover. One, two. Roman Reigns kicked out. The, the, at that moment, I gave up. I gave up. Was that a great match? Sure it was. It was a good, it was a good match. Oh, oh, yeah, they're showing the graphics. Yeah, yep, Sasha, Charlotte, 30-minute Iron Woman match for the Raw Women's title. Like I said... Now, one positive thing you're going to hear from me next year if that title changes hands again. Anyways, Reigns beats Jericho. And I'm not blaming Owens. Owens helped. Jericho was the one that went to Owens to tell Owens to leave. Enzo Amore was the funniest thing on this show. And that's a bad thing. I tweeted out, Enzo should be wrestling. Enzo and Cash should be focusing on being one of the greatest tag teams T- uh, today in WWE should be focusing on getting those tag team titles from the New Day. No, they're having jokes, being in a, a feud with Rusev. Anyone that's not a top star fighting Rusev is a failure. I'm sorry. 
I, I learned that very hard from Jack Swagger, Big E, and also Dolph Ziggler. So, yeah. I can't take it anymore. I really can't. Like I said, there's some positives, but there's a lot of negatives, and I don't give a fuck moments. But Enzo, he fell for the one of the oldest tricks, but at the same time, I don't blame him. If a hot ass woman, just just uh, what it looked like, dumped her man, like she took her wedding, he she took the wing, the ring off of her finger, and then she dropped it on the floor. The man left. Enzo came in. Try to comfort her. And then she invites him to her her hotel room. So Anto, like a man, like a G, he fell for it. He went for it. He took the chance. He went to her room. He had second thoughts. He had some doubts. He went in. It was risky. It could have been a setup or it was actually legit. And guess what? It was a setup. He went in. Lana did so many sl- slutty things. And I was tweeting out. So this is a women's revolution. This is a women's revolution. And don't come at me with bullshit like, oh, she doesn't wrestle. No. No, no, no. Any woman. Any women. Okay? That's on Monday Night Raw. Is a part of that women's revolution. So, Lana being a slut. Showing her titties. Fuck, I, I felt like I was watching a porno. I legit tweeted, give me some lube so I can go to work. Because seriously, I felt like I was watching a porno scene. People bring up Anderson and Gallows and Dana Brooke with, with the glove and the doctor. No, that was the definition of a porno scene. So I'm just tweeting out, I'm just ranting a little bit, but I'm, I'm actually joking at the same time. And then Enzo was... Anto stripped down to his boxer briefs and then she said, You are a fool. And then I'm like, Uh oh. Uh oh. You're fucked. You're fucked. And then she said, Rusev? I'm like, Oh shit. Oh, you're done. You're done. You're done. And then Rusev beat the fuck out of him to, to no return. To a point of no return, bro. He dragged him out of the hotel room, and Enzo was li- was lying lifeless on the floor, and then the and the screen fade to black. So yeah, that's Monday Night Raw for you guys. I'm watching Charlotte in the ring cutting a promo. Do I care? No, I don't. Should I even watch? I uh, no, I shouldn't. Why should I care? Like This is why I said this. I don't care about Ric Flair. I'm not a guy that watched Flair from back then. Okay? I'm not going to act and sit here and be like, Oh, Flair's one of the greatest of all time. No, I'm not going to do that. Why should I? Why should I sit here and be and just being fed with, with, with just opinions? Be like, oh, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this girl, this guy, this old guy, this young guy said that Fleur is the greatest of all time. I don't know that. I didn't share the same feelings like they do. So I can't sit here and say, I love Ric Flair. Because I don't. What I've seen from Ric Flair is a guy who called himself God, a guy who tried to fight Randy Orton but got kicked in the head, a guy who got drunk on Monday Night Raw, and a guy who went to TNA. That's all I know Ric Flair for. Until I did research, 16-time non-WWE champion. Only once he won the WWE title and, and a couple of times WCW champion. So, that's fact. And that's it, so... But, and Charlotte, why should I care? Last year, I cared. Earlier this year, I cared. Two years ago, I definitely cared. I'll never forget Natalia versus Charlotte for the women's title in NXT, but now I look at her. Pointless. Useless. Don't care. I'm done. I'm just done. 
if you enjoy, if you feel the way I feel, leave your comments below. If you don't and you uh, you you disagree entirely, leave your comments down below. Leave a like. I'm out. Subscribe, and I'm out. Thank you for watching. Later.